Right, that's the way up to Crook's Peak, folks. I've just followed a low track. I never know which way to go. Whether it's down here or in the next one round. we we'll just have a quick look a minute. I'm never quite sure which one. Um, I'll go around the, I'm going to do the other one. I'm, ne I'm never, never quite sure. Probably is that one. I think this one takes you back out on the road. We'll have a look. Somewhere around here there's caves and stuff. Apparently. Longer than you thought so, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Longer than I thought. Oh yeah, here's the caves. Down there, look. Look at that, everyone. That's a big cave down there. Look at that. Big cave down there. We'll right then, I come down. I didn't go up to the top of the peak. That was never the intention today to do the actual Crooks Peak. I was going to skirt it, which is what I've done. I did a bit of road. I did a bit of road. I've got down on this base track. Can't see anything. Hedges are quite thick. But over there you've got the hills leading to Winscombe, which I'll be negotiating later. Over, this track joins up with a path I did last year when I left Compton Bishop and made my way up to the top there. Then down the other side down the drove, past the farm, and back to Winscombe. Now I wouldn't be surprised if another two hours hasn't gone by since I last looked at my watch at the green seating area above Roxton. I would imagine another two hours. And if another two hours has gone, folks, there is no way you'll make the four o'clock again, okay? You will have to do the six o'clock again, okay? We're stopping here for our picnic. Then we're making our way up. A very steep, slow climb. Not on this path, I'm gonna do the other one. It takes me out right opposite the gate where I need to go down, but there's a little view through there, look. <coughs> Towards the hills and Wavery Down will be over there. I walked all around that last year on the way. Walked all around the edge. <sighs> we should come to a track in a minute that takes us down into near the church. Okay? What we're doing at the moment, it's been a steady plod. It's been a steady plod. And we should see the church eventually. Can't at the moment. Oh. Oh. 
it's much further than I thought. Yeah. The thing is, I've done a lot of walking. I stayed in for two days in my box. So I'm prepared to experience the heat and the long walk just to get out. You imagine when you're dead, you're in a box, aren't you? In a coffin. You're stuck there forever. Oh, I can't even see the church yet. Or is it through there? Yeah, I didn't want to do the road down there. I prefer to do the spit. <sighs> yeah, I could have come down earlier. There was a path and I didn't take it. <sighs> and I was up there a bit. <sighs> there was a path that would have led me. I would have been there at the church by now. But I thought, no, I've forgotten my boundaries. I need to see them. I forgot the boundaries. It's just a long time since I've done this bit, for example. And a long time since I've seen the cave. I'm going to have a really good cooling session when I'm at the church. Oh. Seems to take forever. I hope I haven't passed it, honestly. I just can't remember, see? All I know is Crook's Peaks up there. That's a big, wide scope there. And we should soon see the church, hopefully. We should see the church soon, I would have thought. Cheddar Gorge will be over that way, where we, get, we can't get to anymore. They deprived us of Cheddar. <sighs> At least it's cool doing it this way, put it that way. In many ways you've chose the right way, Sheila. Rather than going up the peak, Okay, you had to do a bit of road. You, ne you never saw more than 20 cars. And there was shelter every now and again. <sighs> Thing is, I can feel my bones old. I could do with it raining for a week. So I don't have to feel I've got to go out. What I could do with really is some town or village visits and not walking. I'm supposed to be going to Clevedon and Glastonbury, but they do in mean hot bus journeys. Oh, this looks like a lookout post, doesn't it? Oh, a lot of people stood here, haven't they? Where's my church? even see it yet. Oh god I'm knackered. The village of Cross is down there I know. We are going the right way. It's probably just behind these trees Sheila. That might even be the road leading down in a minute. Turn off, I'll just take a picture. Down. I'm not going back up that track, which I did last year when the 126 bus was running. <sighs> oh, there's another egg there. don't know if they're... <sighs> a pale blue egg. I can't remember, I'll look it up. Here we go, then we're going down through the village now. And then we'll see the church very soon. It's not far now. We'll go back up another route I do. Um, I'll do it, we'll do that. 
what you should do, sprayed the top of your feet. Oh yeah, you didn't. You better put a bit of spray on that when we get down here. So I can feel like something's biting. That's the trouble when you go anywhere. At least you can see. I mean, I pulled something off earlier on it, on these. Um, you can see them. So they show up in bright colours, you see. Yeah, this is it. Not far now. Oh, so that breeze is so welcoming. We're coming past some little old farm cottages here. That probably privately owned now and done up. And that was probably a barn once. Um... Yeah, look, roses round the cottage, lovely, and it reminds me of childhood. And I see white roses like that. We had things like that round ours. Yeah, those white roses. Yeah. Oh. I'm in my 70s now, early 70s of course, 71. There'll come a time where I, won't, I will never be able to do this. You might be able to drive out here for the church. But, you know, I've slowly got slower. And uh, but I'm still pretty strong. I mean, sometimes I feel I'm stronger than when I was young. If you know what I mean. I think it's a mental thing as well. But I used to run marathons, you see. So endurance. They said I've got the endurance gene. The um, ancestry did it. And they said, you've got the endurance gene. Yeah, I have. This is a lovely little village though, isn't it? The manor house, that is, look. But that's haunted, don't you? But there's a few ghosts living there. But there is. You can imagination can take you back two or three hundred years when people were walking here in the past. And they still are in their spirit world. When these were homes for ordinary people. There's the old cheese barn up. There's the church there, look. Orchard Cottage. There it is. Let me just...